got any idea who she is, Steve. I mean, if we keep going around the galaxy, picking up waifs and strays like this, one day we're going to end up in real serious trouble. How are you going to feel if we wake up one morning with our throats slashed? Well, that would be impossible, for starters. Liz, when have I ever let you down? And besides, that battered old spacecraft, it could hardly fly. It's our duty to help people less fortunate than ourselves. Oh, stop being so damn self-righteous. Do you know you've been really intolerable recently? I agree with Lizzie, Steve. Why? Well, she never talks about where she's from. We know nothing about her. It's anything, Aldi. We don't know anything about her. And that is exactly what bothers me. Look, shut up the pair of you. Do you want her to hear? I think that poor girl's been through enough as it is. Hi, Astra. How's things? How are you finding life aboard the Venturer? Okay, when everyone isn't talking about me. No, we weren't talking about you. At least not how you think we were. Look, why don't you come and join us and tell us a bit more about yourself? So, you've never been on a ship this size before then? I always flew solo or dual pilot crafts, mainly fighter ships for the Alpha Centauri Space Cadets. I was en route back to my post when my power cells blew out. and It is quite a relief you came across me when you did. Yes, wasn't it just? I'm unfamiliar with the Alpha Centauri Space Cadets. Please, I'm sure we'd love to hear more about you. Uh, it's nothing exciting really. Even less exciting now I won't be returning back. You've left your tribe? I have now. A 712 Alpha Centauri Space Cadet, incapacitating her craft. No, the cadets would never have me back. I too have left my tribe. Elders would make me stay there till I was old. But Algae is ready. I suppose this is a different type of ship to the ones that you're used to. Yes, everything is just so big. So many buttons and gadgets. And that food dispenser. I've never seen anything like it. Well, don't you have this sort of thing on your home planet? Uh, and that robot. <laughs> you know where Naldi spilt his drink all over the control panel earlier. He got in a ride old strop. <laughs> Kept going on about the Duralatool terminals overheating or something. <laughs> and us being flown into something called the Georelative Geothermal Route or something. <laughs> I mean, after all, what could he know? After all, he's not human. <laughs> we had to throw a blanket over him to shut him up. Spilt. Down the algae. Danger, danger. Emergency landing procedure initiated. Estimated time of impact, 15 uh, seconds. Landing site impossible to determine. Brace for impact. Brace for impact. To the evening paper. Is everything all right? Oh, dear Chantal, what would I do without you? It is so good to have you here in these troubled times. I know you are worried about the Germans. The paper this evening says the government has issued an ultimatum that unless they withdraw their troops from Poland, we will be at war. Do not worry, monsieur. I am sure the Germans will surrender to our demands. After all, they would not want to face the might of the French army. Why, only tonight, Monsieur Payton said on the wireless that uh, our troops are a match for any enemy. He is a true patriot. He would not lie. It is not just the war that I am worried about, though. It is everything. The harvest at the winery is well down. The catches from my fishing boats have been devastated because of the plague of green algae. And what is more, we cannot even get our goods to market. That accursed swamp... It is only open for a certain time during the day and covered with water for 12 hours. Our competitors are always beating us to the wholesalers and getting better prices. But what about your plans to drain the swamp? 
Why only last week you were so excited about this? You said it would put Chateau back to its rightful place as the most profitable estate in the whole of Brittany. Ah, but that was before I saw this year's figures. I cannot afford it. I do not know where all the money has gone. Last year we were breaking even, but this year? I may have to sell parts of the estate just to pay the bills. Oh, my lord! It is almost as if someone is stealing from us. There may only be one way out of this situation. I may have to sell this swamp out there. Zut alors, but you would want to buy it. Jean-Pierre Roche, that's who. The rogue of La Rochelle? But his family and yours have been feuding since the time of the French Revolution, when his great-grandfather worked for Robespierre. He had your ancestors sent to Madame Guillotine. But there seems to be no other way. You know he is opposed to draining the swamp. He says it is valuable for national defence. Ha! What rubbish! A few otters and some mud are not going to stop the might of the German army. Anyway, on to more happy matters. How did it go with you this evening? Excellent. There is a Portuguese crab fishing vessel in port, and after a few days at sea, the crew were eager to enjoy the pleasures of short leave. Ah, Chantel, what would I do without you? At least there is some money coming into the estate, yes? No, my lord, it is I who should thank you. If you and your late wife had not rescued me from that travelling band of gypsies as a young girl, I don't know what would have happened. The way they had killed my family brings me to tears. LG, you are possibly the most infuriating thing I've ever seen since my time on Morag 7. Yes, when the High Priest insisted on painting everything pink, including his wife. I... I am forgiving, Stephen. LG wants to learn the ship and be like you. So, I went for a look around. Robo startled me and I spilt my drink. Don't stop snivelling. For God's sake, if it wasn't for Astra, where would we be? You know, we'd have crash landed and we wouldn't have been prepared. We could have been killed. Good old Astra. Oh, enough, all of you. Look, we've got to work out a way of getting the venture out of the swamp and back into space so we can look for that final key. Huh, first things first, where are we? Yes. Judging by the mud, I think we're somewhere near the equator. The South Congo Delta, perhaps. Good grief, here we go again. Oh, my, 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 if it isn't the family's tame whore. Business good as usual, was it? I bet the sailors got their money's worth tonight. Why don't you experience a real man, Chantel? One who doesn't have to pay for it. Get off me, you dog and pig. At least I'm earning some money for the estate. And like you, was just gambling it all away. That surprised you, didn't it? But I know all about you, meetings at the inn and your cronies. How much was it tonight? Two thousand? Three thousand francs? You bitch! At least I don't stoop so low as to sell my body to anyone who wants it! My God, why my father never let you go for the gypsies, I'll never know! Patrice, Patrice, come quickly! Maurice, what are you doing out of the kitchen? It's the swamp! There are trespassers on it! In some sort of strange vehicle! It must be the Germans! Oh, you stupid man, get out of here! No, you must come see them off! We must protect the chateau! Oh, okay, okay. I, I will talk to you later. Oh, show me the way to the chateau. Has he been drinking again? Yes, and he nearly hit me. Oh, you know what he's like. Charming as always, but as soon as he's had a drink, nobody can talk sense into him. There, time, time. He will be full of apologies in the morning. I must be away to the swamp. Good night. 